So this Patreon request comes from Bill McLaughlin. And Bill McLaughlin, this is not only like a interesting uh, Patreon request, it's also a, vis a revisiting of a subject I haven't talked about in almost two years. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Stormhawks. It's not that I haven't wanted to talk about Stormhawks, it's just that like, um, it never, cr it hasn't crossed my mind in a while. So it was kind of nice to have a Patreon request that made me go, uh, yeah, a lot of my, a lot of my subscribers and fans really love Stormhawks and I haven't really done anything Stormhawks related. So I think maybe it's high time I do talk about Stormhawks. So, yeah. So, um... So this is basically a fanfiction idea, more or less, talking about a idea he wanted me to pitch called Cyclonus versus the Multiverse. So this is more or less like Cyclonus going into the multiverse and encountering other worlds. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, so let's dive right in and talk about this. So basically our story begins with Cyclonus finding the ruins of the of the uh, people before, like the the ancients, basically a realm of ancients, and she finds a crystal that is said to be very unstable, but it's supposed to like unlock the key to other worlds. Now, initially, she thought this is a cool. This is going to let us get off the ground because yeah, we built a space station to the stratosphere, but maybe we can go further. Like we can use this uh, crystal to. We can use this crystal's power to essentially um, go further. Like we can now go into space and have like a space Cyclonia can conquer the stars. That's not exactly what it happens. When she does use the crystal, it actually opens up a gateway into the multiverse. So <laughs> there is a bit of a problem. There is a bit of a uh, big problem right there for. Um, Cyclonus. When she opens it, it rips open a gate into the multiverse, and she is thrown into it. And the the crystal shatters, like every like every bit of the crystal shatters and is now scattered through the multiverse. Thankfully, she still has one piece, so it can like le the crystal wants to be reformed again, and and essentially she can now use that crystal to find where each piece is. And keep in mind, Cyclonus is now, like, she has no army, Dark Ace, Ravis, Snipe, they're not there, her army's not there, and her she has to use her own powers. And in a way, Cyclonus is like, you know what? I think I needed this. I think I needed... I was... Uh, somewhere along the line, I was losing a step. Somewhere, I was starting to really, like, just not like not function like I was really starting to like lose my grip and maybe ruling without getting my hands dirty was starting to make me feel like that so maybe this will help me in the long run now so Cyclonus the first world she landed on is Amphibia and she does encounter um she does encounter the toads first and the toads think oh shit another human maybe it's like Sasha it is scary and even Cyclonus notes that it's a lot. This isn't too dissimilar from the Terras, like Bo a Bogaton, and, a F and even the Black Gorge, because she does actually like one hit KO. Like she just blows a Heron's head off, and it just collapses. And everyone's like, "Oh, I don't think she she's human." <laughs> so Cyclonus and the t she actually like attacks the Toads, and they found like Sasha found the crystal shard Cyclonus needs, and the two actually fight. And Sasha even notes that, that uh, excuse me, Cyclonus even notes that Sasha reminds her so much of herself, like that driven determination, that cold steel, that just power to manipulate people. Like she know, she even views Sasha as a kindred spirit, but even then she's like, you know what? I know we could, in one life, we, you and I could have been friends. We could have been like master and apprentice, but nah, blam, and just tries to blast Sasha. She get like, then, when, they're, when they continue to fight, um, Cyclonus essentially grabs Grime and is like, look, either you give me the piece, the crystal piece, or I kill your friend. And it's like, on one hand, she want, it's, it's a threat, but on the other, she wants to see if Sasha is worthy. Like, maybe there's a part of her, she could take her with her. And Sasha, like, gives her the crystal piece and is like, you were so close. You were so close to being, you know, worthy. You are not worthy. And puts the crystal in, goes into the next universe. 
and basically leave Sasha where we go into season two. So, <clears throat> anyway, so following from that, the next universe Sasha, uh, excuse me, Cyclonus pops into is, um, she actually pops into Cybertron. She pops right into Cybertron and, bat like, has to battle her way through the Deadlands, like, they, where, <laughs> where we have zombie Cybertronians there. And she's a lot, she even teams up with the Combaticons, who are given a secret mission to find a strange energy source, um, that has been located on Cybertron that's other, that Shockwave has discovered, and he's like, that's not, that's not from Cybertron, that's not even from this universe. I, send Lord Megatron, send the Combaticons to go get it. So Cyclonus and the Combaticons team up, take on zombie Cybertronians, and then she snap. she's like, lol, yoink, takes the, takes the Crystal Shard and moves on to the next universe. So, <laughs> our, this, so the next world she pops into, uh, the next universe she goes into is, um, uh, oh, what was I, <laughs> I j it just, it just left me. I had it all written down too. Oh yeah, she pop. Uh, she goes into the world of Mortal Kombat. So the next world she goes into is Mortal Kombat, and essentially, her the crystal shard she needs is in the Nether Realm. So C Cyclonus has to fight like hordes and hordes of dead and damned souls along with demons, and even takes on Quan Chi to get the crystal shard she needs. Um, to recover what she lost, and then she gets out of there. But uh, but along the way, like as she's fighting and killing her way through all of these like souls and demons through the nether, nether realm, she's like, "I miss this. I missed the fighting, the carnage. I you know, I spent too much time sitting on a throne giving orders that I forgot how gratifying it is to kill someone with your own bare hands." Um, <laughs> So that was that was her takeaway, and she did get her shit pushed in a lot. But she enjoyed just the raw violence and the raw anger that she could just exude now. Um. Anyway, so she got her next crystal shard. She goes into the next universe, and the next universe, believe it or not, is the Ultraman universe. Yeah, <laughs> Cyclonus versus Ultraman. Yeah, it's not just cartoons in here. I wanted to change it up, so. In this universe, um, Cyclonus discovers that the Science Patrol has found the crystal shard she needs and are keeping it under lock and key. And she breaks, tears her way through the Science Patrol and comes face to face with Ultraman. The two fight. She get uh, Cyclonus gets wrecked. Like like he uh, like Ultraman grows big and she's like, "You're big, fought bigger." And then just she had like she has to flee like she like she was not expecting to take on a giant gi a giant of light essentially, so she manages to get the the shard moves on but she's like but at the same time even though she couldn't defeat Ultraman she was like this was really cool I've never been brought to the edge no one's gonna find out either that I was de that I was defeated but that there was that thrill that rush still I still got it. Um... So there was that. So moves on to the next universe. It's DuckTales. She goes into the DuckTales universe and teams up with Magicka. To, and this is the 2017 reboot. She teams up with Magicka and the two use magic and crystals to empower the Beagle Boys to get the crystal shard that is now being under lock and key by Scrooge uh, at his money bin. But of course Cyclonus is like, oh, that was a fun team of yoink. <laughs> yep. So, um, so our final universe that Cyclonus goes, the final universe that Cyclonus, uh, travels into, um, is, um, this was the big one. <laughs> the, the final universe that she travels into is, um, Oh boy. <laughs> she goes into the the universe she traveled into was um <laughs> Gundam. Yeah, she went into the Gundam universe. So there 
she has to fight her way through the uh, rebellion. She has. To, she actually like. And the best part is, is like she finds the. Re she when she tries to fight, uh, she encounters Gundams for the first time. She's like giant metal men. What the hell? And then she's like, oh, it's people piloting robot suits. Okay, I can deal with that. So. Cyclonus builds her own Gundam out of the wreckage from from a destroyed Gundam, builds her own through her own crystals, and then proceeds to tear ass through the entire system until she gets the crystal shard. And then finally, when the adventure is all said and done, she returns home, she's got the crystal, and she just chucks that shit. Um, she, like... Basically, he's like, I, like, I can't use this. The power's too unstable now. But it did teach me a lesson not to just sit on the throne and, you know, just kind of sulk and, you know, you know, I want to be a conqueror again. Be on the front lines and be a conqueror again. So she just takes the crystal and more or less wills it, like with all of her willpower alone, wills it into the like the crossroads the multiverse like basically no like the the walls between the multiverse so no one can use it because she realizes the more she uses the crystal the more she starts to realize that the stuff the crystal never wanted to be used by anybody so and every time she took a put a piece back together or like a shard back together she realized oh it doesn't want a master it doesn't you know it's not it's gonna keep doing this to me because it it doesn't like me so Fuck you. You know, if I can't use it, no one can. So there you go, guys. That is pretty much um, Cyclonus versus the Multiverse. I want to thank Bill for this video. This was a lot of fun to do and do it finally a Stormhawks video after so many years. And yeah, this was a lot of fun. Um, as always, um, if you haven't already, go check out my Patreon exclusive videos. A new video is out of Hero Villain Mashup. Um, and if you want to have a Patreon request video done, uh, just click, just uh, subscribe to the fourth tier and uh, and send me a request. But other than that, I am Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.